Welcome back to another scorching hot day on the Finca and um, we're forecast to be 40 degrees today 105 Fahrenheit great weather because we've got to build this or at least do a bit of progress on the, the fence for the dog run um, how do we keep cool in this weather? We don't have any aircon here but luckily we're at a bit of an altitude and it does cool off overnight so essentially we, we have all the windows and that open overnight and um, while it's cooler and then as soon as the outside temperature gets above the inside temperature we shut all the windows, shut all the shutters and lock it all down and that really does help make a difference um, anyway so let's get on with this dog run right so we have fencing stuff um, sand, cement, or sand and gravel, cement bracing poles corner poles, end poles, tensioner poles, two gates. A lot of this stuff, um, when, we, when I ordered it, I was just going to do the one run up there until the flies and whatever smell thing came up. And we're going to put the, the donkey and goatee down here now. So I don't need all of this for up there where the dogs are going. Um, so we're just going to take up what we need, obviously, and um, show you our plan. Okay, so the gate is going at the end here against the wall. We did our first hole yesterday, um, so we need to do another one here. Um, so I'm just going to loosely mark it. Like that. And um, then put a piece of string across the two to make sure they're in a straight line. So this is the last hole, Sharon's just getting the bits out the bottom of the hole. So we've dug all our main fence post holes and we're going we're gonna to drag the mixer up and get some concrete mixed and get, the, get these posts in. We need to do a few more holes for the braces um, but we'll, we'll do those when the posts are in so we know exactly where they want to be. Oh, yeah. And we've got the mixer up here. <laughs> We just need now a bit of power to it, a wheelbarrow, some sand and cement, and we'll get these posts in. Um, yeah, we should get it done this weekend with any luck. Um, it's not even 11 o'clock and it's 30 degrees C, 86 Fahrenheit already, and it's just getting hotter by the minute. So how long we can last, I don't know, but we want to try and get these posts in at least. Right, we've got everything we need, we've got our mixer. I'm doing a four to one mix, so I'm going to put two bags of sand and gravel with half a bag of cement. Um, then all we're going to do, we'll stand the posts in the holes and um, wedge them in place with some of our big stones we've got over there. Pour the dry mix in, when it, we're all happy it's all set where we want it. Simply pour water on it and by tomorrow that should be rock hard. So let's crack on. Sand and gravel, actually not sand. It's already mixed for us. Saves a bit of a job. And then, where's my shovel? We'll put half a bag of cement in. That's a gauge half a bag. I usually just cut the bag about halfway. So we put that lot in, we're good. Oh. 
That'll do it, I think. Yeah. yeah. A bit more for good luck. Oh, some sticks. Right, we'll just mix that up a bit before we put the other bag in. Okay. Don't take much. Right, we just let that mix now for uh, five minutes or so, get it well mixed in, and then we'll, we'll put it in the holes. Right, while that's mixing, um, I've just turned it off so you can hear me, and um, we're going to get the posts um, wedged and packed into position. Right, so we're just going to empty our mix that's mixed now um, into our barrow, then we can move it around and fill our holes as we go. We'll just use this bit for now. <laughs> um, right, we've, we've got our first post in. Right, so we've just loosely wedged it in place with some big rocks and we're just going to pack this stuff around it. When we water it in, it'll wash it into all the gaps and stuff. Essentially, we just want the post sort of held firmly and securely where we where we want it. So, where's my level? I can see that's not level just by looking at it. Pretty good that way. I think that's all right. Right, next we'll get the gate in then. Right, Sharon's just going to water that in now, like a tree. And then we're going to check its level once again, once it's washed all the stuff down into the gaps. And um, then just leave it, as long as no one walks into it, it'll be alright. That should do. Let's have a look. Check it, always check it, because once you've done your two way, perfect. Him. We'll just leave that now to set. Right, now we get the gate in. Yeah. I'm just got to make sure it'll open and it's level. So, thank you. Drop that on the top if it'll fit. Oof. No, that's not bad, is it? <laughs> that's not bad at all. Right, let's um, chuck some rocks in it. I want to check it the other way actually as well. This way. Yeah, right. If I hold it there, do you want to chuck some rocks in the in the thing?
Don't move. That seems to have got it pretty well. Check it again. Lovely. You know what that'll do. Um, right, we'll get the sand and we'll get the concrete mix in it now, dry again. We won't bore you with that though this time. And these are the two dogs we mentioned the other day that keep coming to see us and as much as they are lovely we try to discourage them because the cats aren't happy and obviously this time next week we're going to have our babies ourselves so they're lovely to just come and sit in the shade, drink all the water and eat the cat food of course um, but we are trying not to fuss them because we don't really want them coming back all the time. Bless them. Right, yeah, just finishing off the, the concrete in these. And smash it. Right, we'll just check it again and then we'll water this one in. Pretty good. Yeah, let's have it. Send it, as they say. Okay, lovely job. Three down, three to go. Brilliant. Right, where all our main posts are in. So we've got the gate here. One corner there, one centre one there, another corner one over there, and the other tensioner one against the wall. We'll let that set now. Then we've got the diagonals and that come from these that come out because the whole fence is held up by tension. You run a wire through the holes, you probably can't make them out. And then you, you hang your fencing on that, tie your fencing to that, but then you tension the, the cable, um, and that's what keeps it all rigid. And there's three cables in total. Um, that's what these three are for, the tensioners. And this one is for the brace. So there's a brace that comes from that one down there, a brace on each corner one that way, so it doesn't squash in. Um, brace on the middle of one, like that, to stop it doing that, etc, etc. So we can't do any more until these are set. It's too blooming hot. It's, um, it's 32 degrees and rising at an average rate of three degrees an hour, which is bonkers. Um, so we're gonna call it a day there. We're gonna go and sit in some shade, have some cold to drink. And um, we hope you've enjoyed today's Launch. We're getting we're getting on with the dogs. They're coming on Monday, so we've got to get it on. It's Saturday today. We've only got tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're we're getting on with it. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please consider subscribing. It don't cost anything. And if you check the little bell next to it um, to make sure you don't miss, uh, check the little bell next to it. It's too hot. Um, and select all to make sure you receive notifications of all our future videos. Thanks again. Thanks to all our current subscribers and we'll see you tomorrow with some more heat fencing.